everyone. Welcome to the Mama Elephant YouTube channel. This is Arena. Welcome to November. Today we're going to be taking a look at a couple of products from the November 15th release. First up, we have a stamp set called Mammoth Love. This stamp set is illustrated by Ada Zamora and they are the cutest ever woolly mammoths. I love how the sentiments in this stamp set match the images and of course my favorite one is the little baby sleeping on the mama elephant or it could be a daddy elephant. Um, I just love when images sleep on each other. It's the cutest thing ever. Here is a look at the coordinating dies for Mammoth Love. And next up, we have another a large scale sentiment creative cut. This one is You Are Loved. It is perfect for Valentine's Day. Can you believe we are thinking about Valentine's Day cards right now? Um, I like these because it's one piece and it's super easy and it makes a big impact on your cards. And finally, we're going to share the heart grid cover. I adore these grid cover dies. This time they are hearts and they are it is so cute and it is the perfect backdrop for your little agenda stamps. I'm going to color my images first and I'm using Copic markers. The ink I'm using is the Gina K Designs Amalgam Ink in Obsidian on the Nina 110 pound paper. I thought I would color in the largest image. I did color all of the woolly mammoths in the same coloration. And the colors I used are the E70s. So I wanted the little elephant to be a lighter color so i started off with e70 um, e71 e74 and then for the larger elephant i started off instead of using e70 e71 e74 and e77 so these are um much larger images than I'm used to coloring, so I'm kind of going slow. I kind of like to lay down a layer of ink first, and then I'm gonna build the color in. It looks a little uneven with that first layer, but not to worry. Um, the more layers you add, it will all even out in the end. I just like putting down a base color first because the ink tends to blend a little bit easier when the paper is um, a little bit wet. So once I have my lighter colors down, I'll go to the medium, blend it out with the light, and then at the end, I'll add the darkest color and just the little nooks and crannies and then blend it out with the medium and then blend out the medium with the light. So you're just going back and forth um, from light to medium to dark to medium to light again. Um, it just depends. And when I laid down that E77, it was quite dark, so it dragged out farther than I wanted. So um, next time I'm going to use a little bit less of that E77. But with the Copic markers, you can just keep coloring and your paper won't warp or anything. So um, it's fine if you color too dark, you can always blend out. For my backdrop, I decided to use the previously released Slim Woodland die, and I just love this. I <laughs> I almost made a snafu because I had originally intended to make the woolly mammoths in this jungle theme, and then I asked my husband real quick, when you think of woolly mammoths, what do you think of? And he said, like, snow. And I'm like, oh my gosh, you're right, because I got confused with elef like regular elephants, but these are woolly mammoths, so they have a thick fur, so they are in the tundra. Um, so I decided to use Slim Woodland because it has snow, um, and I thought it would be the perfect size also to showcase um, a lot of the elephants that come in the stamp set. So I'm just doing some ink blending and some masking. I'm using, I believe, Tattered Rose and a little bit of Abandoned Coral on the sides. Um, 
for the trees, I just kind of wanted this light and airy. And then for that middle piece, the die also cuts out kind of this snow flurry section in the middle. And I'm going to do that in speckled egg. And these are all Distress Oxide inks. So I'm just going to do a little bit of a snow flurry kind of in the back. Um, and that will inset nicely into um, the base of the die cut. So I'll just continue to blend until I get my desired look. I'm going to place that on the inside of the die cut. I did washi tape it in the back so it would stay still. So now I'm using one of the sentiments from the stamp set and I'm kind of putting my images where I want them to be and then I'm putting the sentiment in the middle just so I have a good placement. It's nice to see the images before I place the stamped sentiment in the middle. Um, so now I'm going to use a double-sided foam adhesive to attach the images to the front of the card. I just love these woolly mammoths. They're the most adorable thing ever. So I wanted to use as many images as I could. So I have the two that are facing each other and the one that we colored. I'm going to adhere it on a dark chocolate card base just so there's a little bit of contrast with the lighter card and I like how that brown peeks out in the back. I use the Art Glitter Glue Designer Dries Clear to adhere the card base to the um, card front. So I wanted to add a little bit texture to the Woolly Mammoth so I'm using a Posca paint marker to just to add a couple of um, white highlights on the woolly mammoths just a little bit on their bum and a little bit on their head um, Just to add a little bit of texture and to break up the color So for our next card, I wanted to use the heart grid cover and I cut that out in a cream colored cardstock and then I'm putting some pink behind it so the hearts are pink and then I cut out the You Are Loved, big You Are Loved um, sentiment. And then I cut it out twice, one in red and one in kind of like a coral colored cardstock. And then I adhered it together offset so there's a little bit of a shadow. Um, I just wanted the sentiment to really stand out. So once I've offset it and adhered it together, I'm going to adhere that whole piece to the front of the card and I like the subtle heart background in the back and then I'm taking um, the other woolly mammoth image my favorite one and I'm just adhering it to the bottom I just love the sentiment it is so big and so nice and I love how easy it is um, because it does cut out in one piece I'm going to add a little bit of highlight again, um, just on the head and the bum, um, just to break up the color, and that is our card. Here is a look at the completed cards. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to join me tomorrow. We have some fun new products to share for the November 15th release. I hope you guys have an awesome day. Stay safe and happy crafting. Bye guys, see you tomorrow.